place in Chicago that is so cool. There has never been a year with more technology, more options, more horsepower in new models. And there's one place where it is all on display this weekend. Our good friend, Lucky Dog and Fox 40 auto expert Nick Miles live at the Chicago Auto Show. Nick, I'm envious. Oh, yes, my friend, and I'm also going to tell you that this unseasonably is 40 degrees in Chicago, where it's normally about zero with wind chill factor, so I'm very happy to be here. Chicago Auto Show kicking off the auto show season. Let me show you a few of the things that are going on here. There is a brand new Toyota Tundra capstone on display here, the first hybrid truck in uh, the Toyota lineup, and now capstone showing off the pinnacle of the luxury truck market. Uh, this vehicle, beautiful on the outside with diamond cut wheels, and on the inside, well, it has American oak. It is designed, built, and tested in America with a big screen up front, heated and cooled seats, and luxury items all the way throughout. Nissan as well, showing off their brand new Frontier here that starts under 28,000, and they're showing off some vehicles that they've decked out with their Nismo parts department, saying, you know, you could adventure in California with one of these and deck it out from their deposit department and look what you can make. Great off-road vehicles for camping and adventuring all over America just at that starting price of $28,000. I know, Richard, luxury is in your lifestyle. Well, there is a new Lexus built from the ground up, the LX600. It comes in a four, five, six, or seven-seater, full massaging seats in the four-seater in the back row. It also has six screens in total, 57 inches in total, including an off-road screen. It lowers up to 10 inches, raises up to 10 inches, and you can do full off-roading with it in full Lexus style. They go from a V8 to, to a V6, which is great. Now, we're all familiar with Bronco. They announced a new Bronco trim level here in Chicago called the Everglades, a winch up front, a snorkel, so you can do some uh, water fording. It has over-the-air updates, and you can share trail maps with your friends, so you can do a little Everglading or a little water fording with that vehicle. Now, we know how important uh, electric vehicles are. Uh, the uh, brilliant new BMW iX M60 M vehicles from BMW celebrating 50 years this year, which I think is wonderful. This will charge uh, up to 100, almost 100 miles in just 10 minutes on a fast charger. And this vehicle going on sale late this year, it has all the power of M in a beautiful electric SUV. And finally, let me show you this. You like to do donuts in cars, Richard? Well, I know you've been practicing in the parking lot outside Fox 40 on the weekend. Now Dodge is recruiting their chief donut maker. They're offering $150,000 a year for somebody that does donuts. And that job can be found at dodge.com if you would like to be the chief donut maker. I'm applying. I don't know about you. Are you applying for that job? Yeah, okay, of course, if it's a charger. I mean, that thing looks awesome. And to do donuts, to get paid to drive, I don't want to say questionably or illegally, but uh, that's the insinuation. I, I noticed, uh, uh, Nick, on a couple of those SUVs, the front grille are really changing. Some of them were huge. Yes, absolutely. Grills are getting bigger and bigger in vehicles, and that's what Americans want. And the great thing is, from trim level to trim level, everyone gets a different front grill. It's kind of an inside joke in the industry, but grills are getting bigger and bigger. They're almost as big as the car themselves. Exactly. That's what Americans want, so that's what all automakers are doing. Let me also ask you about the trucks. I've noticed a lot of automakers coming out with some affordable luxury, like you said. Uh, some of the trucks like the Frontier, the Colorado, and what, hovering right around the 30,000 mark. They're trying to capture a different market. A lot of people want smaller trucks, but a truck nonetheless. Yeah, absolutely. And you'll notice that the top trim levels in the family vehicles, not luxury vehicles, are bridging right against the luxury vehicles. So yeah. we're blending the lines between luxury and family. So you can get a family vehicle that is almost a luxury trim level. There's so many cool things. Nick Miles at the Chicago Auto Show, one of the biggest in the country. Thank you, Nick, so much. And enjoy it. Uh, get to do some donuts if you can for me. I'd love it. Nick, thank you.